Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today I'm going to quickly uh, go through the year 9 and year 10 algebra section so that if you are studying for the exam soon, just go through this video and you should be able to pass the exam. Okay, the first question is about like terms. So when they ask to add or subtract an algebraic expression, you have to look for the same family. So here, the x and the x are the same family, and the y and the y are the same family. And the other thing you need to note is that this minus belongs to this 2y, minus belongs to this x, this plus belongs to the 5x. If there's nothing, put a plus. So now we're going to add the x family. So x family, we have plus 3x and minus x. So if you have minus plus 3x minus x, what you're going to get is get 3 minus 1 is going to be 2x. And then we look at the second one. We're going to look at the second family, minus 2y plus 5y. So 5y minus 2y, you're going to get 3y. So plus 3y, and that is a simple take in exam. Okay, the second question is a multiplication question in algebra. So in a multiplication question, what you do, you have to multiply numbers with numbers of 2 multiplied by 3. You are going to get 6. The first thing you do, multiply numbers with numbers 6. And then A, multiply with A. So there's 1 here and there's another 1 here. So you add the power. So 1 plus 1 will give you A squared. And B squared, and there's another one here. So 2 plus 1, so B will be cubed. And C on its own, so we're going to just put a C. And again, that's a simple one mark. Same for division. Division, again, number with number. Put in your calculator, 6 over 9 is going to be 2 over 3. X squared over X. When you multiply, you add a power. When you divide, you take away the power. So 2 minus 1 is going to be x on top. y and y will cancel out, so there's nothing left. z and z squared, so there are two, one z on top and two z at the bottom. So when you cancel them out, 1 minus 2 is going to be z at the bottom, and that will be the third mark in the exam. Okay, we'll proceed. Now we are going to do expanding. Expanding in algebra means to remove the bracket. So the best way to do expanding is to do the grid. So to do the grid, we just draw a grid, and we're going to put numbers in there. So the first number we're going to put is 3x, because the 3x is there. So 3x, and then 2x over here, and then minus 4 on that side. So what you do now, you are going to multiply them. So multiply instead of adding. So you're going to multiply them. So 2x multiplied by 3x, you're going to use 6x squared. And then minus 4 multiplied by 3x is going to be minus 12x. So the last step you do, you are going to put the answer inside the grid. It will be 6x squared minus 12x. And that is a simple tick in the exam. Okay, next one. Slightly harder, but just make sure that you are dividing the first two parts. So you are going to do the grid on the first Expression, so there'll be 3b, 2b, minus 1. So as I said before, you are going to multiply them. So 2b times 3b is 6b squared. 3b multiplied by minus 1 is going to be minus 3b. So what you do now, you are going to put exactly what's in the grid outside. So it's going to be 6b squared minus 3b. And don't forget, you still have minus 4b from the first example. So now you're going to do like term. So you can see there are like terms here. Minus 3b and minus 4b. So the final answer is going to be 6b squared minus 3 minus 4 will give you minus 7b. And that is another thing. Okay, the last one, the last expansion is a two bracket expansion. It's the same thing, the same procedure. So what you're going to do, you're going to do the grid. This time, there are two numbers instead of one number on the on the row. So this time the numbers will be going to be x minus 4 and they will be x plus 2. And you are going to multiply them. So what happened now is that you multiply x and x will give you x squared. x times 2 is going to be plus 2x 
minus 4 times x is minus 4x and then minus 4 times plus 2 minus 8. So the next step you do, you're going to put everything out. So it's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 4x minus 8. And again, we are looking for like terms. And again, there will be like term plus 2x minus 4x. So the final answer is going to be x squared minus 2x because minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2x and minus 8 and that will give you another tip. So far so good? Good, we'll carry on. Okay, now we're going to do factorize. The word factorize means to put in the bracket is the reverse of expanding. So what I would do, I'm going to just put into bubbles first and second. So what I do is going to break 8. 8 is made up of 2 and 4 and 2 is the prime number, I'm just going to circle them. And 4 is made up of 2 and 2. So 8x is actually made up of 2 times 2 times 2 and x. And for 12, I'm going to break them down into 3 and 4. 3 is the prime number, I just leave it there. And 4 is going to be 2 and 2. So 12 is made up of 2 times 2 times 3. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out the common factor. I'm going to put in a common box. Whatever is common, I'm going to put there. So 2 and 2 is common. Another 2 and 2. So 2 times 2 is going to be 4. And then what's left is going to be 2x. And what's left on this box is going to be minus 3. So that will be another mark. Similarly, for question 2, we are going to do a bubble. After a while, you get uh, you, it's quite easy. So the first bubble is made up of 2 and 3. 6 is made up of 2 and 3. And x squared is x and x. 3x is made up of 3 and x. Now the next step, we're going to take out the common bubble. Everything that's common in the first two bubbles, we're going to put there. So the common bubble is 3. When you take out the 3, you cancel the 3 and also the x. So x will be cancelled out. So what's left, you're going to put in a bracket. So in this case, what's left will be 2x. And in this bubble, there's nothing left, it's going to be minus 1. In algebra, there's nothing left, you put 1 instead of a 0. Okay. And the last part of algebra is, we're going to do 6 questions on solving, starting from the very easy to the very difficult. Solving means you want to put x on the left-hand side and number on the right. So your number appears on the left, that number is an intruder, and we have to get rid of it. So the first example, 2x minus 5 equal to 3. Remember, x must be on the left. This number is an intruder. So to do, to remove the intruder, we do the opposite. So instead of minus 5, we're going to add 5 on the left. We're going to do the same on the right. So when we do that, this will cancel out. So 2x will remain. 5 minus 5 becomes 0. 8, 5 plus 3 is going to be 8. And the last step, you divide by 2. And the answer, x equals to 4. That's the thing. Simple. Same example, different numbers. Next one. So 5 is the intruder. So to do to remove the 5, you do the reverse. So you minus 5 on the left, you must minus 5 on the right. So what's left is minus 3x. 5 minus 5 will cancel out. So 8 minus 5 is going to be 3. And the last step to get rid of the minus 3, you do the reverse. So instead of my, minus 3 times x, you divide by minus 3 on the left, you divide by minus 3, and minus 3 and minus 3 will cancel out. So x equals to negative 1, and that will be the next part. Okay, question 3, there are a few ways to do it. Okay, I would personally like to expand the bracket. So when you expand, I'm not going to do the expanding here. It's going to be 4x plus 8 equals to 12. If you expand, okay, uh, uh, I'm going to show you the expanding. So to expand, so it's going to be 4x plus 2. When you multiply, they become 4x plus 8. So that's how we get 4x plus 8. The next step, we are going to get rid of the plus 8. So we minus 8 on the left, we minus 8 on the right. So what's left is going to be 4x equals to 4. Because 12 minus 8 is 4. And the last step, we divide by 4 on the left, divide 4 on the right. So x equals to 1. And that will be another thing. Fourth example, this is common. You have both numbers and x's on both sides. So the first thing you do, you're going to get rid of the minus 2. You plus 2 on the left, you plus 2 on the right. So the 2 will cancel out. So on the left, 
3x. This will cancel out. 2 minus 2 is 0. So 5x plus 6. Next step. You are going to get rid of the 5x. This time you're going to minus 5x on the left and minus 5x on the right. So this will cancel out. So what's left? 3x minus 5x is minus 2x. 5x minus 5x will be 0 equals to 6. And the last step, you divide by minus 2. And the minus 2 will cancel out. So x equals to negative 3. And that will be the next mark. Okay, two hardest questions. Both of these is worth two marks in the exam. So if you can do this, you will be pretty good in algebra. Okay, the next one we're going to do, we're going to expand this part so we expand quickly going to be 5x plus 10 by now you should know how to do the grid method and on this one you're going to be minus 2x but be careful minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 instead of plus 2 equals to 0. so now what you're going to do you do like them 5x minus 2x going to be 3x 10 minus 2 is going to be 8 equals to 0. next step you're going to get rid of the 8 you minus 8 on the left minus 8 on the right so you got 3x equals to negative 8. And the last step, you divide by 3. And the answer, x equals to minus 8 over 3. And that is double take. And last but not least, okay, this is the hardest of the lot. But if you have been doing algebra for a while, this is not too bad. There are four intruders, 3, negative 2, 4, and 7. You need to get rid of the number that is least connected to x. So 7 is the least connected. So we minus 7 on both sides. So we got 3x minus 2 over 4. This will cancel out 7 minus 7 will be 0. 9 minus 7 is going to be 2. The next thing to do that we're going to do is get rid of the 4. To do that, we multiply by 4. So when we multiply by 4, the 4 and 4 will cancel out. So what's left is going to be 3x. Minus 2 equals to 2 times 4 is going to be 8. Next step, we're going to add 2. Add 2 on both sides. So 3x equals to, because 2 minus 2 becomes 0. 8 plus 2 is going to be 10. And the last step, divide by 3. So x equals to 10 over 3. And that is 2 marks. So keep practicing for your exam. So if you, do, you are able to do all these questions, I reckon you should have no problem passing the exam. And again, good luck for the exam. Study hard. Watch the video. If you don't understand, write me an email or put down a comment below and I will help to I will try to help you. Good luck and goodbye.